my slow cooker beef stew recipe mm -hmm. this is a great meal you guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you this is just a picture of my ingredients that i use in my slow cooker beef stew recipe i hope you all enjoyed the video thanks for watching and this is just a picture of the last minute ingredients that i threw in the slow cooker and also this is a picture of my ingredients for the beef stew recipe thank you hey you guys so today we're gonna be making beef stew beef stew yay hey you guys so i put the stove on medium and i put some olive oil in there and now i'm going to put my meat in here for my meat, I basically season it with Cajun seasoning. You guys, I'm doing it my way. I'm not following the recipe online. I'm following my own recipe. So y'all, Cajun seasoning and some coarse ground black pepper. And I covered it with some flour. So, yeah. So now, basically, I'm just putting the meat in the skillet so I can cook it. And then after I'm done cooking it in the skillet, I'm gonna throw it in a crock pot. Cause I like to sear my meat first. I love to sear my meat first before I put it in a crock pot. I know some people like to just put it in a crock pot. Um, it's your preference or what you would like to do. If you would like to just throw it in a crock pot without searing it on the stove, then you can do that. Or if you would like to sear your meat, then you know do it like i'm doing it i'm i'm just stirring my meat this is a big piece they mm, they cut this all wrong <laughs> okay you guys so i basically seared my meat i seared it for like 15 minutes and basically, what I'm about to do now is let me show you what I cut up. I cut up some celery. I cut up some onions, yellow onions, celery, carrots, and potatoes. Cut it up all nice and small, and I'm going to throw it in the crock pot. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in the crock pot. This is my crock pot, by the way. This is my beautiful, lovely crock pot. All right, you guys. So just like I said, I'm making beef stew. I cut up one yellow onion. I cut up a big stock of celery. I cut up carrots, potatoes, three pound potatoes. It was, yeah, it was three pound potatoes. It was one pound carrot. And it was, um... With the cedar, I think it was like one pound, and the carrot was like one pound or whatever, something like that. But I will most definitely put the ingredients in the description, most definitely. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description for you guys, you know, because I don't wanna leave you hanging, you know. So, yeah, so I'm gonna put some tomato paste, tomato paste in my beef stew. I'm also gonna do a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna do some beef cubes. See, I got some beef cubes right here. I'm doing four beef cubes because I don't know like for sure if I need like four, five, or six. So I'm gonna do four and when it's time, when it's almost done, I'm gonna make sure that's okay. Um, if it's not enough beef, I add a little beef broth to it or beef salt or whatever. So yeah. And I'm gonna add it to my beef stew you guys i love beef stew usually when i do my beef stew i make it with the um i always do it with like beef broth so this is going to be my first time doing it with the beef cubes i also put like a cup of water um the reason why i did a cup of water is simply because i'm not doing it with beef broth this time usually i'll do it with beef broth and then that way i don't need 
a cup of water because beef broth already has the beef and the water in it. But um, this time I'm doing it with beef cubes. So I had to put like a cup of water in it. Like I said, I'm doing four beef cubes. Hopefully that's enough. I'm going to taste it um, towards the middle end. And then I'll see if I need more cubes or not. So I'm going to put a little garlic powder in there, a little bit of garlic salt. I want y'all to look at it, look at it, look at it. I did a little garlic powder, garlic salt. And of course, I'm going to do two bay leaves. I'm going to do two bay leaves. I got to get the tomato paste out. You guys, this is six ounces of tomato paste. Six ounces of tomato paste. So basically, this is how it's looking, you guys. It's looking like this. It's looking really, really good, really nice. I'm going to stir it up really, really well. You guys, also, I, I have it on high. It's a choice of low and high. And, of course, I'm going to put it on high. I wouldn't need to put it on keep warm until it's done. And I decide to keep it warm. This is what I love about crock pot. You can keep your food warm, which is amazing. It's amazing that you can keep it warm after you are done cooking. I just wanted to like stir up the um, tomato paste a little bit, you know. And you guys, now I got to put my meat in there. Okay. I know y'all hear that music in the background. My children watch a cartoon. Mm -hmm. I know y'all hear that cartoon in the background. So now I'm putting my seared meat in a crock pot, you guys. Smelling good, smelling good. I season it really well, you guys. Just like I told you, I like to sear my meat on the stove first before I transfer it to the crock pot. Um, some people like to, some people like to just put the meat in a crock pot and just add all of their ingredients and just cover it up and put it on low or high. Is your preference is whatever you prefer. If you prefer to sear your meat, like I said before, you can sear your meat. If you don't want to sear your meat before you put it in the crock pot, just put it in there and add everything on top or add everything on bottom. So you guys, my meat is seared, baby. Just like I said, I'm going to put the description. I'm going to put the ingredients in, in the description box, most definitely. I want you guys to know my recipe. This is my personal recipe, you guys. This is literally like my own personal recipe. Like I took what I know from Google, cause like I've been doing beef stew for years now. Um, I've gotten several different recipes from Google. And you know, sometimes I do they recipe and sometimes I add to the recipe. You know, sometimes I like to do my own thing and sometimes I add to the recipe. Like I said, sometimes I don't. So I just, um, like I said, I added like the Cajun season. Okay, so you guys, I know at first I was saying I was going to put the purple onion in there. Because, you know, I like to add my own little mix to it, you know. <laughs> but no, I didn't put the purple onion in there. And you guys, now I'm about to just stir it up really well. And I'm going to show you how it looks. 
Hey, I'm back, y'all. So, y'all, just like I was saying earlier, I'm making beef stew. Three hours has passed, almost four hours. So, let's check out. So yes, y'all, I'm adding the sweet peas in now. It's looking really good, it's looking really delicious. Like I said, I went back and added thyme, or thyme, however you pronounce it. Yes, y'all, it's looking good. What's cooking good looking? Yes. Also, I'm about to give y'all all of the ingredients. I'm about to tell y'all all of the ingredients that I actually put in here. And I'm also going to leave the ingredients in the description. Just like I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I'm going to leave the ingredients in a description. It's going to be in a description box so you can know what ingredients I use. Like I said, I freestyled it. I use like two recipes from Google, but I also freestyled it. You know, um, I just added like a few ingredients, a few more ingredients to it, you know. You know, this is how it's looking. I'm gonna cook it for 30 more minutes. But yeah, this is pretty much how it's cooking. I'm gonna cook it for 30 more minutes. And now I'm about to tell y'all my ingredients. So y'all, this is how the beef stew turned out. It turned out really lovely. It looks good. It tastes good. It's really delicious. Really, really delicious. Yes. So y'all, this is just my lovely beef stew. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna give you my beef stew recipe. So my beef stew recipe is one medium onion, three pounds gold potatoes, one pound, one pound baby cut carrots, 12 ounce sweet peas, one pound celery, black pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, two bay leaves, thyme leaves, flour on the meat before searing. Just like I told y'all, I sear my meat and like I said, I season it up and I put flour on it and you know, like I said, I added the sweet peas towards the end and I and I put the thyme leaves in them like an hour before, like an hour ago. Um, I did four beef cubes with three cups of water. I did tomato paste. And then I cooked some rice on the side. And with my rice, I put in some butter, some black pepper, and some salt. Woo, good to go. So thank y'all for watching my videos. I love you guys so very much. Leave comments. Let me know what you think about my recipe. Let me know what type of recipe you do for your beef stew. Thank you so much. Subscribe down below.